All right, we're live. All right, welcome everybody. Uh, it should be pretty obvious where we're at. Uh, we came up this morning and we've stayed in the river. We caught, we got two in the box. Lost one, really nice one. And uh, seemed like they went on a little spell where they did earlier today, and then they they slacked off here recently. Uh, Throwing, we've been throwing a variety of baits. Uh, caught one on chatterbait, caught one on uh, this crankbait, waterwood crankbait. Courtney, I'm gonna make a cast and I'm gonna see if you, what I want you to do is train, train the camera on the end of my rod, just on the very end. Look at the vibration. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Look at the vibration in that bait. Now that bait's only running about foot and a half or two foot deep. But they can't stand that vibration. And what we've been doing is throwing in little eddies and breaks and stuff like that. And so far it's worked pretty good. The bites is sort of tough, but I just feel fortunate to have two. Uh, I would really like to have that one. We lost one real nice one. That's the way that goes. And we're trying a lot of different stuff. We hit a little bit of wood. Yeah. Like I said, it's a waterwood, and I don't know um, how big it's designed to run, but it seems to me like it's running about a foot and a half deep. But the vibration is really, really what caused it. And uh, like I say, we're fishing current breaks, trying a lot of different stuff. We had not really come up on anything magical yet that really works really good, but. We know it's tough, so we're okay. Uh, different baits, so we figured it out. And we figured it out, little bud. first got here, the water was rolling out of this wheel. They had it really, really going, and that's when that's when the fish were biting on the, on the sides of the eddies and in the eddies on current breaks. And since then, since they've slowed the, the water generation down, it's gotten, it's gotten a little bit tougher. But we'll figure out, we'll catch three more somehow. We'll catch three more. I want to catch a great fish. What was that that swirled up there? Something just swirled up there. I'm throwing this, I'm throwing this crankbait on 20, 20 pound test line because I don't want it to go very deep. We're, we've been fishing about 1.5 foot deep all day. And Eric Dyer's fishing 59. When he was live, he was. In, I think he said he was in 59 foot. So uh, that's quite a difference. <laughs> quite yeah. a difference. Two different worlds. Uh, yeah, two different worlds. We live in ours, and Eric lives in his. Yeah. They both work from time to time. Time to time, they both work. This this plug, no joke, has more vibration than a chatterbait. That's the reason it works. And we're, we're we're further away from the dam than we have been this morning, and so there's less water movement. So this could actually be a mistake. We don't know yet, but for about 30 minutes up there, we we didn't get bit. So we're trying something a little bit different just to see if maybe some are set up down here and a little bit less current. And I don't know if they are or not, but we should know soon. I don't know what anybody's got. I think, didn't Eric say he didn't have any for you? Yeah, he doesn't have any. And I don't know if Hamrick. I don't think he has any. I doubt any. if has got anything. No. He, he hadn't tied on in about a month. We tied. <laughs> this morning, 
He did stretch his line in the parking lot this morning. Uh, I was scared to death it was going to break. It's been so long since we stretched it. But, yes, Well, you know, I don't know, Jason. If he had a line sponsor, I don't. I still don't think he'd put it on. Like that takes take effort. Time. It takes effort. You think he's too lazy? I'm saying he's lazy. Terrible. Lazy. I tell you what, I'm gonna do though. One day, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring him up in the river and teach him how to fish a river. Cause I don't think he knows. I mean, I don't. What do you think, Jason? I just don't think he knows anything about it. I tried to trade him out for Dyer, but they wouldn't. Yeah, Annette, they Annette us, told me I was crazy. They ain't gonna give us Eric Dyer. Annette he told me him. I was nuts. He could win the day by himself. And so I said, well, okay, forget Eric. What about Travis? <laughs> he said, definitely not. <laughs> I said, I said, well, the Parker brothers, you know, I'll take either one of them. Cause I know they're good too, but Trade me somebody for him. They wouldn't. She wouldn't do it. She just wouldn't do it. Uh -uh. Alright, y'all. See that bird down there on that rock, Courtney? See that bird? Can you focus on that, honey? That's a good sign right there. That's a good sign. That bird's there for a reason. Uh, the whole time you're fishing, pay close attention to everything going on around you, all the surroundings, all the wildlife, because a lot of times, a lot of times, that'll be a clue, that'll clue you in. So, so my guess is there's a fish down there right around that little bitty island, and we will know soon enough. We will know soon enough. Jason, they ought, to, they ought to hit that spook, buddy. I thought that was a good idea tying it on. You know what dummy just called me? Who? Hamrick. Who did? Hamrick just called me. Okay. Knowing I'm on live. Called me on my phone. You just don't know. <laughs> just, you have to forgive me. Oh, gosh. You have to forgive me. That shit, well, I think it's still weird. Like we, it's four foot deep here. We, you know, that can make a difference too. That can make a big difference too. I don't, I really. Oh, maybe that was Vince Parker. <laughs> okay. He called you a dummy? Right. No, he called me and I was calling him a dummy. Did you see that turtle coming right there? Yeah. That is, you know what that's the indication of? Of course, we're up here in the river and there's a whole lot of rocks, but any kind of there is a rock below it. See that right there? Can you see that? Mm-hmm. That's you. There's your inside. That means, that means that there's a rock. Of course, there's plenty of rocks up here. So we look for rocks. Love rocks. It'll provide current breaks. Crawfish will be on them. There's just... It's, uh, provides ambush points. It's just a perfect place. Look at that intake over there. Alright, it's probably about time to hop off. Alright, y'all. Thank you for tuning in.